Oh, here's his little <laughs> Who else could bring off a pair of pyjamas like that? <laughs> Sean Williamson, of course. How lovely to see you. Chitty, chitty, bang, bang. What a role. What a, what fun. Unbelievable. I mean, I, I'll be honest, I hadn't seen it for, since I'd since, since seen the film probably as a teenager. And it's just amazing to, to, to be reminded how many great songs are in it. It's packed with classic songs. Do you know what I mean? It's just uh, an unbelievable thing to be a part of. And, yeah, we're touring the country and... Uh, We've had some great audiences. Yeah, we, we, we double up in this. It's, it's a bit like Wizard of Oz, where, remember in Kansas, everyone who was nice uh, uh, was nice in, in Oz, yeah. and everyone who was nasty was nasty in Oz. So it's a bit like that. Everyone doubles up and sort of replicates their character. So I play Lord Scrumptious, who is the um, uh, Truly's dad, who runs the sweet factory, who's quite pompous and overbearing. And then, uh, and then the Baron in um, Bulgaria. Which is your favourite? Well, it, it, it alternates, but I do like oh. I do like playing Lord. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Baron's great. I mean, basically, I just based him as like a terrifying man child, like, like Kim Jong Un of you know Korea. Do you know what I mean? So I just wander around. You know, <laughs> the no, idea he, of him in a musical. Yeah, that's do you know just what I mean? Too this terrifying man child who can just have anyone shot whenever he wants. But he wanted he's just a big child with his teddy bears and his, you know. But then Lord Scrumptious is uh, is, is is a lovely part of the um, Toot Sweets dance. You know, so I get yes. to dance in that. So it's, it's just great fun. But you and Michelle, of course, with Cindy in EastEnders and there, yeah. Barry and Cindy back together. Yeah, did it, you yeah. do scenes together? We, we did, yeah, yeah. I, I um, uh, nearly uh, crashed a car with her in when she was pregnant. Which she Not in real life. Which she ne never let me forget, yeah. In real yeah, life? Yeah, we, we, were, we were doing a film. It was a little bit funnier than it sounds. We were doing a... a well, it doesn't a, sound a, funny at all. We were filming at Waterloo Station and I just passed my driving test and... Um, uh, I needed glasses to drive, but I thought, well, Barry doesn't drive with glasses. So I was steering around a roundabout at Waterloo and um, we just nearly at a bus. I said, well, that's all right. She, she's forgiven me after, after 16 years. This is filming for EastEnders <laughs> when she ago. was really pregnant in real life. <laughs> <laughs> and it, you're still giggling about it. it. Michelle, a, if you're watching... It's in a book. <laughs> <laughs> now, also, the other role that yeah. you did quite recently, you were in The Railway Children. Oh, that was beautiful. How lucky, you know, I've gone from one children's classic to another. You know, I played Mr Perks the Porter in The Railway Children at King's Cross Theatre um, and, went st and, and then went straight into this. So I've been so lucky to go from one, one to the other. And that is a beautiful show. It's still running. And the actual steam train does come on and off, you know, during the night three or four times. And um... it's ma I have to... I've seen it. It's so magical. It's sort of... Yeah. <gasps> every time the train With comes With the big on. lump in the throat ending. You what? With the big lump in the throat ending, oh, of course. I sob. I know, but, uh, I know. Daddy, my daddy. I, I know, cry I know. every... Even so, just thinking so about I, it makes me cry. I was cry. in it for three months. So, yeah, I've been very lucky. I've gone from, from, from that to this, you know. Just can't believe my luck, really. Now, let's go back. Obviously, we, we've mentioned EastEnders, but there's a wonderful story around extras when you worked with Ricky Gervais. Now, it, he called you, didn't he? What Ricky does, I'm sure he won't mind me saying, he calls the actors. I don't know how he gets our numbers. He calls you up and charms you into being in his show. So by the time he talks to the agent, you've, you've accepted. So, OK, you were <laughs> yeah. sitting at home. I was in the garden. You're right, you were sitting in the garden. Phone went. I, not I, pedantic I... at all. You're in the garden, yeah. the phone yeah. went. Yeah, it's Ricky, right? It's a, obviously a radio wind-up. Steve Penk used to do that, do you remember, yes. at the time? So, uh, no, it was him, you know, and would you want to be in my show? Yeah, all right, you'll get the mickey taken out of you. OK, then, great, I'll talk to your agent. <laughs> and it was as simple as yeah, that? Yeah, literally. And you've worked with him, ever, you know, you've done so much I've been much so with lucky, him. he really kept the ball... You know, when you leave a soap, you need the ball kept in the air, as it were, and, and he did that for me for a good three years, him and Steve, and so I was in extras for ten episodes and then Life Too Short for, I think, four and uh, The Invention of Lying, the film. We had, we had such fun, honestly, and it's just great to be part of a classic British sitcom. And would you do more with him? Oh, yeah, hi, I'd love to. <laughs> you know, he's a busy bloke and he's got his different projects. He's back out as David Brent at the moment, but, you know, and, and I got to work with Bowie, who's not, sadly no longer with us, and all these very famous people who come in every week. It was just a, an amazing experience, yeah, very lucky. And, of course, they always called you Barry. Yeah, that's going to be on my gravestone. I've got it sorted out. Well, yeah, how, how do you feel about it, though? I've changed my, pa my passport's changed. It, well, I sort of half believe you because everywhere you go, when you arrived in here, people were, were saying to you, Barry. I know, oh, I know yes, it's, 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 it's the way it goes. You know, in this business, you might as well be known for something as nothing. So uh, if it's going to be that, that's, that's the way it is, really. You've got such a lovely attitude. There's too. no point worrying about it, you know, <laughs> there really isn't. And uh, it, it, it's, it's been very good to me, do you know what I mean? Wouldn't mind playing another character now, that'd be good, but, uh, you know. But you can't it, go back to EastEnders, then. No, no, no. Well, I think they've brought people back on 
thinner premises than, <laughs> than, than me. But uh, no, I think that's that's one and truly gone. That was t uh, ten years of fun again, you know. But uh, what, what it's but done? Didn't you that... write for it? No, what, what I did, I, I did something. I, I'm writing now. I, I, I wrote a couple of episodes of an Irish soap called Red Rock, which is now on daytime telly in this country. Um, oh, and, wow. and I did something called the East Enders Shadow Writing Script. So you write a script as if you're writing the real one. And uh, they, they, they thoroughly liked it, but I think they said... Cos it was a few years ago, I'd only just started, so they said, why don't you have another go? I'm still trying to find the time to do it, so I'd love... That'd be great, wouldn't it, to go back and... Uh, I could write myself back in. But didn't... Su oh, yes, you yeah, could! Yeah. But Sue Barry Tully... back in the square and says, I'm back for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> Would you do another there's, soap? There's my pension. Would you do another soap? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I've, 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 I've nothing against it. It was just that by the time I'd left, I'd been, it, been in it for 10 years, and that was... Uh, that's, I started acting at 30, full stop, and I left EastEnders at 40, so that's all I'd done. So I was desperate to do other things, but I, I had a blast. You started at 30, and yeah, look what you Yeah, started at 30 and got on EastEnders within six months. Sorry. No, it's wonderful. It's always lovely to see you. Thanks it's so much. And pleasure. good luck with the, with the Chitty Chitty Thank Bang Bang. I love indeed. that show. Cheers. If you'd like to see even more great guests, then click here. There are plenty more fantastic interviews to come, so make sure that you subscribe. It was only for, yeah, only for well, about know, a winter. It was good fun as well, yeah, actually. Very totally different. different. Gosh. I fell asleep in my dressing room because we were getting up, you know, uh, very, very early, and I fell asleep at lunchtime in my dressing room and woke up and looked at the strip lighting above me and went, has the last ten years all been a dream? <laughs> or a nightmare, depending on which way you look at it.